I get it. You suck at holding things. Thankfully, I've got the best clear cases, leather cases, and even tough cases that can handle this. So, let's check it out. We're all familiar with this feeling. The fear in the two seconds between dropping your phone and flipping it around to live another day without a cracked screen. Well, Caseify and their bounce cases are made so you never have to feel that way ever again. All thanks to these. Shoulder pads they call bounce corners, providing rigidity to the case, you can actually see them in action. And because it works so well, they've lined the backside and inside of the case with Caseify's proprietary EcoShock material too. Basically, it absorbs the impact so you're iPhone doesn't have to, unlike other cases that may treat it like a basketball. Packing it in and around your case means you can confidently use your phone without worrying about doing this. Whether you're just tossing it onto your desk or it accidentally slipping out of your lap while getting out of your beat down Honda Civic. Combined with the thick lip around the front means high-fiving tables with your iPhone is a thing you can do now. Complete that with their status symbol of a camera ring because if you know, you know. It's an exclusive club, but also a very, very protective one too. Better yet, you'll feel good about using them as they're made of recycled material and you won't feel bad for buying several designs either. Don't worry, while not the thinnest case out there, as long as your pants aren't skin tight, you shouldn't have any issues pulling it out of, well, any hole. And while it's girthier than you're used to holding, the matte finish is comfortable even one-handed, plus it's still MagSafe and wireless charging compatible too. But to pack it all in and still be able to handle this is what makes it worth every penny. It's rated to handle up to 21 foot drops and six military standards, which means it's been drop tested for 156 times. They've also got these, lanyards that hang around your neck so it's literally impossible to fall while still being instantly accessible because let's be honest, we're all addicted to checking the same Instagram posts every two minutes. However, if you only suck at holding things a little bit, the Ultra Impact series is slimmer, offers the same customization, and rated for up to 11 foot drops. Or for the most pocket friendly, with 8 foot drop protection, the Impact series is the cleanest yet still protective case available. Plus, if you visit casetify.com slash accessorize me, you get 15% off. Links and details down below. If you've got butterfingers, then this case is literally called Grip. From the brand, they've installed grip strips directly onto the side of the case. Not only does it feel good, it doesn't add any bulk either. And the only way I can describe it is like it's a gooey jello-like rubber that allows your fingers to hold onto something securely without adding any size or feeling sticky whatsoever. They pride themselves on their buttons too, because although you may not care, they do. And they make sure you can hear that click. Plus, they bulged up the whole top of the phone, not only to keep your camera protected, but no more wobbling when you set it down either. However, they've also designed the side edges to be lowered so you can still swipe left on Tinder just as fast, while the top edges are raised again to keep your screen from making out with your table. Now, if you know dbrand, you know their specialty lies in this. Customizing your phone and case with several designs to choose from, like this moody fireplace looking one. Personally, I prefer the matte black look, but life is about having options. And that's what dbrand is selling here, as you can just as easily swap for this or any of these two. And don't worry, it is MagSafe compatible as well. I found there's a surprising number of people who swear by a folio case. So I made sure to find the best looking and feature packed one available as well. The modern leather folio from Nomad doesn't only meet that requirement, but has proper stitching and finished edges, along with being made of this Danish leather that instantly makes it look sophisticated, but will only get better with usage too. They've integrated an actual case with the leather so it holds up the drops, still offers a clicky response, and can give your camera tougher coverage too. Plus, with the folio cover, you've now got 360 degrees of protection too. Although sometimes it may still land like this, they've integrated a neat way to fix that. It's optional if you don't like it dangling around, but it utilizes the magnets that are already built in for MagSafe. Genius. Am I right? In terms of storage, three dedicated card slots with a large cash pocket behind that, fitting daily essentials perfectly. When packed and closed shut though, over time, this will slim down, but is still manageable one-handed. Just beware, while it's nice to have a magnetic clasp, it isn't the strongest, but enough to keep it closed in your pocket. Plus, it's a win-win to still be able to wirelessly charge too. There are a million and one leather cases to choose from. This new contender from Nedrolo, known for their unique magnetic wool cases, is enticing for one thing, 
price. The case itself looks and feels like a leather case should, I'd argue just as, if not better than the Apple leather case. All while coming in at half the cost of one. Metal clicky buttons, raised camera bump, and even a taller lip around the front screen in comparison to the real deal. So unless you really want that Apple logo around back, save it for another accessory for my best iPhone 14 accessories video, linked above, and check out this sleek and minimal option instead. Look, the iPhone 14 Pro's camera is, how do you say it? Gigantic. So while everyone is worried about their screens, Spigen is out here making cases for the camera instead. But thankfully on a case that actually feels good to use too, thanks to its matte black textured finish with clicky buttons. So while the focus may be protection, it doesn't come at the sacrifice of any other part of the experience either. The camera cover itself is a sliding gate that clicks into an open and closed position, which you will have to remember to do, otherwise you'll look like the uncle who doesn't know how to use a camera. And along with helping with your butter fingers, the textured back does add some grip for MagSafe accessories too. And while everyone else around you will hate you, this does make for a really satisfying picture toy too. Now it's a close call compared to you, but it doesn't get tinier than this. A new definition of minimal, the Utomic interim edge case, if you can call it that, but realistically are just corners and personally, I love it. Basically, if you prefer the feeling of your naked iPhone but want just enough coverage, they use a combination of adhesive primer and this double-sided tape that requires a bit of setup and letting it dry overnight, but for the most part, once they're on, they're on. Designed with an extended edge that lifts your phone evenly on surfaces to avoid scratches, while being so small, even your pockets forget they're there. Don't worry, I had the same reaction though, but thankfully, it doesn't fly off in my rub test. And while it offers light drop protection, by no means is this solution meant to absorb impact, as the corners will fly off. But if you understand this is mainly to keep your phone raised or the occasional slide along the table, then this could be the ultimate minimal iPhone case. On the opposite end of minimal though, if you're looking for a full system of accessories to mount your iPhone literally anywhere, Quadlock is my go-to case. Plus they've updated it this year with MagSafe compatibility too, making it possibly the only system you need for any way you want to hold your phone. From the simple dedicated finger ring for daily usage to a mechanical locking clip for any handlebars, all while still being able to use any MagSafe accessory you already own. They've also got a range of MagSafe ring colors to customize between as well, and a range of mounts that will work between all generations of iPhones, whether it be on the wall, your car windshield, or even their new MagSafe snapping wireless chargers too. Plus, the case itself feels good to hold as well. While thicker due to their mounting system, the matte black finish is soft, grippy, and offers enough protection for daily usage. Personally, the finger ring is a must for this, as you can clip it on and off as you need it, great for members of the Butterfinger gang gang. While I'm sure this case is tough, I'm recommending it as one of the coolest looking designs I've seen. The UAG Monarch series is made of five layers, one of them being Kevlar. Why? Who cares? It looks really cool. It's got that cyberpunk futuristic vibe going on and is surprisingly functional too. The honeycomb edges are nice to feel up with large clicky button covers, plenty of coverage around back and the front of the screen as well, and not as girthy as it looks, with the edges being surprisingly thin so it doesn't affect one-handed usage. However, with all that extra padding around the corners, you do benefit from a decent level of drop protection too. But then, well bam, still MagSafe compatible. What can't this do? Better yet, if you really suck at holding things, it's got dual lanyard loops, although you should only use one, and now you'll never drop your phone ever again. For the points card hoarders, you can never have enough card slots, and that's why I continue to recommend the Smartish Wallet Slayer Volume 1 case, because not only does it hold three cards securely, even if you just had one, it holds it in without budging throughout my scientific shake test. The Keto also makes it easy to finger, and sliding cards back in is a breeze too. The minor downside with dedicated wallet cases though is the size. Whether you have one or three cards inside, it stays just as bulgy. Although thanks to the textured edges, sort of like a smooth sandpaper and the curved edges around back, it's actually comfortable and manageable to use one-handed still. Plus, with all that added thickness around back, it doubles as some added cushion for drops too. However, do note though, this is one of the very few cases that aren't MagSafe or wireless charging compatible. 
for obvious reasons. The iPhone is a good looking device, so sometimes you want to show it off. Hence why clear cases exist. And this one from Encased surprised me not only because it's a great clear case, even though it's slim, has clicky buttons with coverage around the camera too, but it's this strip of elastic built into it, which you guessed it, is meant for your butterfingers to grip onto your iPhone. Right off the bat, I haven't used it long enough to comment how long the elastic will last before stretching, but for its cost, it's well worth it for how great it feels, even if only for a few months. It's soft, sits flat when not in use, and actually helps with gripping onto such a large device. That being said, while wireless charging does work, MagSafe accessories may not stick on properly, but it's a trade-off to not have to deal with a pop socket sticking out and instead enjoy what feels like your iPhone giving you a soft, cuddly hug. For more iPhone videos, watch this. But that's it. I rest my case.